Yes, that's, um, that's 46, not 46 degrees. So um, what you guys can see here in this case that we'd like to do is if we're solving for a missing side, the main important thing is we want to see um, what we can notice is this is angle, angle side. We, have, we basically can apply the law of sines. But I think more importantly, what I like to do is just make sure I have a ratio. I have a side and its angle. Does everybody see that? Whenever I see a side and its angle, I know I can create a ratio, which is going to create a proportion, which now I can solve using the law of sines. Okay? So based on this, I have a length of 46 and its angle of 102. Now that is C, so therefore I know that this is going to be, based on my case, lowercase c. Okay? So the side length, the lowercase letter, is always directly across from the uppercase letter. Does that make sense? So don't just use that triangle as it has to look like that, or that's where A, B, and C have to be. I wanted to show you that triangle so you see that they're opposites. So I know I have 46 over the sine of 102 degrees. What the heck am I doing? Now I need to set this to another ratio, right? I need to compare this to something else. Well, what is the only other measurement that I have? B, angle B, right? So I could set this to the ratio of B over angle B. Does everybody see how I set that up? Okay. Now, um, basically what we need to do to solve for B, I don't like using the word cross multiply, but because all I need to do, to, if I need to solve for B, B is being divided by sine of 24. So therefore, all I need to do then to undo divided by sine of 24 is to simply m multiply by the sine of 24. So I multiply by the sine of 24 on both sides. And therefore, my answer is b is going to equal 46 times the sine of 24 degrees all over the sine of 102 degrees. Okay. So in my calculator, what I'll basically go ahead and do, make sure that I'm in degree mode. All right. Then all I'm going to do is type in 46 times the sine of 24 degrees. And then I'm just going to hit the divide, which is going to take that last answer. Hit divide, sine of 102. OK, and you guys can see the buttons that I pressed to get to that. And when I do that, I am now having to approximate my answer. So by approximating my answer, I'm going to have 19.128 because I'm going to round to the nearest thousandth unless otherwise told. Okay. Does everybody see how I typed that in my calculator? Did everybody else?